Meet Ellis Marquez Getterly, a good friend of mine who have been living in China for six years. She's gonna be talking about her captivating journey through her life as a young 19-year-old female expert in one of China's biggest cities. Get ready to hear her fascinating stories, insights, and even why she prefers living in China over the Philippines. My name is Cherila AK, and this is Abroad with Cherila. Um, can you briefly introduce yourself, including your name, age, and background? So, my name is Melissa Marquez Gately, but I go by my nickname Elise. I am 19 years old and I am from the Philippines. Okay, so how long have you been living here in China? I've been living here for like about six years now. Six years? Mm -hmm. uh, where were you um, and what age were before you came to China? I think I was about 14 years old and I was in the Philippines during that time. Oh, you were in the Philippines? Yeah. Okay, so have you been to any other countries before? Uh, I've been to Hong Kong and Macau a few months before pandemic happened. And then I was in Thailand and Cambodia last year. Okay, so you've been to two countries, Hong Kong and Thailand. Hong Kong, Macau and Thailand, three and countries. Cambodia. Cambodia. Yeah. Oh, that is great. So what initially motivated you or why did you come to China? Um, honestly, I just wanted to visit my mom because she's working here. There's really not that kind of like a big motivation for me coming here. It was just that, oh, you know, growing up in the Philippines, you want to like go to a different country for, you know, brag about it. <laughs> okay. No, I just want to really come for like a vacation to just visit my mom. But I ended up staying she ended up you know making me stay okay so the first time you arrived in china what was your reaction mm -hmm. like at the airport so you know when i came in china it was like i think maybe like dawn already so i don't i didn't see much of china so from the airport going home, it was just darkness outside. So there's nothing much like, oh, I'm in a different country. Oh, now. you arrived at night. <clears throat> yeah, there's not much like, there wasn't that feeling like, oh, I'm in, the, in a different country now. Because I, I couldn't see much of China at that time. But during daytime already, it felt like, it felt so different. I have this like feeling like I'm, I'm somewhere else, which, which is, of course, I am. But like, it just has this super, super weird feeling. I'm thinking, oh, it's daytime here. Maybe in the Philippines, it, it's nighttime, but it's actually the same. So I have that thing, like, I think it's the time. It's the time that actually um, overwhelmed me. So what visa are you currently on? Um, um, in a uh, student visa. Oh yeah, I'm a student visa. Mm -hmm. So you've been here for six years, right? Yeah. So um, is it easy or is it difficult to get your visa done as a student? And what are like the basic, just the basic procedures to go about it? For me personally, I think it's easy switching from an, a dependent visa with my mom to a student visa. It was easy. I just needed like requirements such as the the school thing application stuff the enrollment if you have already enrolled and the resident for me that's all the that stuff that i actually needed so it was easy for me applying okay so what are you studying and for how long what are you studying i'm um, studying marketing for four years oh, like how long have you been studying marketing just about nine months now. Okay. Uh, so, how is um, life as a foreign student here in China? It's fun. Like, there's disadvantage and advantages of being a foreigner. Like, the advantages is like, you know, if you do stuff, like, I'm not saying illegal, but like bad stuff, 
if they can't understand you speaking English, they wouldn't. They, they'll just let you go. And at the same time, you know, when you go, when you go out, and Chinese people sees you, they'd be like, they they try to be to communicate with you. They they try to be very friendly, but at the same time, disadvantage as a foreigner would be like in a daily basis is ordering food communication like you some people some chinese people couldn't understand the chinese so it would be so hard like even even like translating some words they wouldn't still understand that one and even mm. if they do understand and then and then they reply to you you wouldn't understand because sometimes they don't have the app the app to translate yeah. um the chinese to english so i think that's the disadvantage what does a typical day in your life here in China look like? Uh, hmm. If I am in the university, it's just dorm, school, dorm, school. But if I am outside the dormitory, I usually go for like picnics. I go for like bars, you know, spending times with my loved ones. Yeah. Are there uh, speci uh, specific um, routines or activities that you enjoy doing here in China? I think it's the picnics. Me and my boyfriend would always go for like Saturday picnics or like Friday afternoon picnics. So that's actually what I really, really enjoy. Okay. So um, have you learned uh, any Mandarin or local dialect? I did. And I'm still learning Mandarin, but I can say I'm not that good. I'm not that confident in speaking the language yet. Uh, so if I can rate your Chinese language skills right now from 1 to 10, what, what would it be at? I'm not trying to downgrade myself, but maybe like 6, I don't know, 5, <laughs> just in the middle. Okay, so how are you learning the Chinese language? Do you use an application or something else? I do use Google Translate, but at the same time, I'm also I also have classes in Chinese um, for reading and speaking. Okay, so how has uh, learning Mandarin impacted your experience here in China? You know, I studied in ICAS for um, language the Chinese one so on the first first few days I was like oh my gosh this is so easy because you know it's like basic a bit but I, I was even saying like oh I think I can perfect pinyin like it's just the easy ones but then um, having quizzes in pinyin and having to write the tones it was so hard than than writing the character itself uh. yeah but I think it was fun. Okay. So, um, have you have you made some friends here in Shanghai specifically? In Shanghai, yes, I have made some friends here in Shanghai. Like some foreigners, of course, while studying in different in in, in a different school, and now in our in, in my sc new school, I've made okay. some friends. Is it easy to make friends here in? China Chinese friends Chinese friends I think it just really depends it's because there's always the there's the language barrier is always there so making friends would still be a bit difficult but you know making friends in the club or in the bar is much easier because you know you you already have um, not the connection but like something in common with the Chinese person so it's like easier to talk to them more or um, instead of like meeting someone somewhere so how about your dating life you mentioned earlier something about your boyfriend so how is your dating life here in China it's actually good I mean I've, I didn't expect to actually have a boyfriend in person because mm -hmm. I've been like dating online which so <coughs> basically um, dating in person to me 
it feels new and it also feels great at the same time okay so how long have you been dating with your boyfriend uh, so we've been dating for like I think a year and two months now just pretty long okay so uh, do you think uh, cultural differences or background influences your relationship definitely he, uh, I think it's more on my side growing up in the Philippines having this um, th like relationship things that they've been telling you about the cul the dating culture in the Philippines I'm not saying all but mostly it's kind of like toxic and like on my boyfriend's side so most of the time I'm actually the toxic one but of course I'm unlearning those toxic behavior how do you perceive safety here in China is it really safe for foreigners around your age in your opinion I honestly think it is safe I came here at the age of 15 I think so yeah, 15 around that time and it was my first time that I've been let to be outside till 10 p.m. It was my first time ever. So I think it is really safe, especially, you know, there's like CCTV everywhere. And I feel like Chinese people wouldn't really do bad things to you. So there's n no danger in going out, especially at night for okay. foreigners. According to some media outlets, um, China is being perceived as a racist country for foreigners. What's your opinion about that? Personally, for me, for myself, in me, I've never experienced being um, like someone's being racist to me. To me, to me. Okay. I've, it's actually um, the other, it's actually the, it's actually compliments. Especially, we you know, Chinese people, most of them have very small eyes and I have a very big eyes mm -hmm. so whenever they see me they're like oh my gosh you're so pretty your eyes are so big so pretty but I've also experienced um, racism with my um, what's this? talking about my country itself they were like I was with friends and then one of my friends can understand Chinese and then they, some Chinese people I think they were like grandmas and then they asked where are you guys from and then we were like we're from the philippines and then they kind of like sat a bit near us so we can still hear them and then they started saying like oh filipinos aren't they like maids don't they just work in like houses and for me of course i mean there's n there's nothing bad about working as a housemaid mm -hmm. but what what really hurt me was that oh they look at us in that sense so okay. i'm like it just i feel sad for those people who works at home because chinese people see sees them as that low M maybe not all but some mm. do you like do you like chinese food because um you know a lot of foreigners that are like most of them majority of them don't like Chinese yeah. food or they claim they don't like Chinese food so what is your do you like Chinese food at first I don't like I don't want to eat Chinese food coming here mm. every time I'm, I'll just go for like fast foods or like those um, restaurants I've never really I never really liked Chinese food until my boyfriend um, bought me brought me to this um, dumpling place it's just a very small dumpling place but the dumplings are really really good <coughs> so time goes by and i think i got addicted to dumplings and like i think that's my favorite food chinese food now dumplings. that is your favorite the dumplings. yeah dumplings in a soup dumplings yeah. in a soup so what about the noodles the tofu and all honestly that? i'm not a noodle person even 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 before even in the philippines or even just like pastas and stuff like that i don't really like noodles that much like i eat a bit less when it comes to noodles because i don't know i get so full 
mm. like in an instant okay so do you miss the food back home the delicious philippine cuisines oh yeah i do i do miss filipino food mm. especially those like lechon it's like they have to cook it with the charcoal and like here I, I've, I've eaten like um, a lechon here in china already but it doesn't taste the same as the ones at home in the philippines but um like foods like like snigang and other foods i can easily cook it at home so it's not that i don't don't miss it it's just maybe like the the original taste of it uh, the, yeah. that one <laughs> and especially street food in the Philippines mm. so how are your travel experiences here in China you know you've been here for like six years so have you traveled to other parts of the country I have been to Beijing mm. I have also been to oh my gosh I forgot which province it is and then the other one is in Huangshan the mountain the yellow mountain yeah mm. I've been there for uh, hiking oh hiking so which of them, which of the cities do you really like the most? Def one, uh, the one you're currently living in, which is Shanghai or like the other cities you've been Oh to. my gosh. Oh my gosh. I really like, I really love Shanghai, of mm. course. You know, it's a city, um, you have everything. But I really also like Huangshan. The Huangshan? Yeah. The Huangshan Mountain. I, I forgot which province that is. But... Because, because, because you know the place, the place is so good. The, the scenery, oh my gosh, it's breathtaking. I'm, I'm not even joking. I think I really like it because it's more on nature mm. rather than here in Shanghai. It's like city. Uh, okay. So well, now that you currently live in uh, Shanghai, right? Mm. What is, um, what do you like about this big city? What do you like about Shanghai? What I like about Shanghai, yeah. it's I think it's lively, but at the same time, it's also peaceful. You know, in I've been to like other countries, right? And even in my country, even in like past midnight, it's so so noisy. But here in Shanghai, it's quiet. Even in the city center, mm. yeah. So that's I think that's one of the things I like, and also I also like seeing grandmas dancing oh you see them a lot yeah especially when um, I go back home whenever I go I see them everywhere and it's really fun to see is there anything you don't like about um, living in this big city I think it's the <laughs> it's the pollution the pollution yeah okay that's all i think so okay um are there any iconic places you might recommend to someone who is probably traveling to china maybe on tourism or something or maybe they are from another city of course they want to visit shanghai are there any unique or iconic places here in shanghai you might recommend huh, i think one would be the happy valley <laughs> The Happy Valley. <laughs> yeah, especially for like um, for like new students to go to. I have never been there before. Oh really? Yeah. It's I've it's never it's been there a really good experience. Uh, is there anything you dislike about China? What do you don't like about China? Hmm. You've been here for like six years, and you have you've had a lot of experiences. What do you? feel that you don't like about China? I think it would be how other people would treat you if they know where you're from or maybe if you look different from them it's always that one like whenever I'm with some friends they would be looking at us like maybe not judging us but mm -hmm. maybe judging us something like that uh, that's all yeah
um, what, what advice would you give to someone considering a move to China? Especially young people like you who are aspiring to study or work here. I think the first thing you should do is to download the translator. That's like very, very helpful in the city. And also would be like the, the map and also the A map. It's like you can like put a location on a map and then it'll show you like which buses metro mm. to take to be able to go to that place so i think it would be a translator or like better yet study a bit of chinese for communication okay what do you really love about china i asked you before what do you don't like about china so now what do you love about China? You might think it's a bit weird because I just said earlier like people judge you for yeah. knowing which country you're from. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I like it. Like they don't judge you with whatever you wear. I came from the Philippines and it's a very conservative country. And coming to China, I've wore like clothes that I've never wore in the Philippines. Because of course, wearing that in the Philippines, they'd be looking at you like, oh my gosh, you look like a slut. We're just wearing something not too sexy, but a bit tight. Mm -hmm. But here in, the, in China, even wearing like a very weird clothes, they wouldn't even like look at you or judge you with it. Because they also do that. Like for them, it's fashion. So I think that's what I really like about China. Mm. Um, if you had the if you had the chance to go back to the Philippines right now, or to continue staying here in China, which would you prefer? I think I'd love to continue my studies here in China instead of going back in the Philippines. Why would you prefer? I think there's much more opportunity here in China than in my country giving of course the education the works and of course we're talking about money okay